Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. You can also find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. With Splash Mountain now officially closed at both Disneyland and Walt Disney World, I thought it would be fun to look at some of the best fails from Splash Mountain over the years. There are so many hilarious and wild malfunctions and breakdowns to share. It's a mix of some of the best from past videos and a lot of new ones never seen before. If you've caught a fail or malfunction on camera, you can submit it to www.tpmvids.com for a chance to have it featured in a future video. So without further ado, let's count down the top 10 Disney animatronic fails and ride breakdowns, the Splash Mountain edition. Number 10. This first one is probably one of my favorite Splash Mountain animatronic malfunctions. It happened back in October of 2020 at Magic Kingdom when all of a sudden... Oh my gosh, it fell! See, this is what happens when you try to fish in a no fishing zone. It's called karma. Quite a few viewers caught this malfunction on camera, and seeing a fail can be a really exciting moment. Oh my god, there is a fail! Ah! Look at it, man! Yes, you definitely have the right idea. Anytime you see an animatronic malfunction, you should always let a cast member know once you get off the ride so they can get it looked after. I mean, it is a pretty good time though to ask him how do you do? Probably not too well. It looks like the actuators in his legs failed, but he seems to still be doing his normal animation, just on the ground. Now Disney did remove this silly goose shortly after the malfunction, and it was nowhere to be seen for a good week. That was until he returned to his boat where the weather was good and the fishing was fine. But this animatronic had a lot more malfunctions in store, which we'll look at soon. Number 9 Back in January of 2023, a viewer named Andrew Homer was taking his last ride on Splash Mountain at Magic Kingdom. It was a typical ride, with everything functioning just as well as things were at the time, but once Andrew got into the laughing place, there was a little logjam. Red Bear, you done been sticking your nose in the wrong laughing place this time for sure. <laughs> I told you to clap, Red Bear, but my laughing place done gonna give you high. Hey, you having fun? Yeah, I am Getting stopped right in front of a set of animatronics is the best place to get stuck. You get really clean and crisp audio and you can really admire these robotic figures, especially when this happens. Andrew said this was the perfect ending to an amazing ride, and I would agree. A lights on view of any dark ride is every Disney fan's dream come true, especially when it turns into an in show exit, like in this other submission from Andrew C. Oh, I am, I'm videoing. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm shaking. I sound like the YouTubers right now. This oh is magical. God. This is so magical. Oh my god, you guys. Guys, this is not happening. Oh my god, dude. Oh, is that what happened? Oh my god, they're dude, diagonal. This is sick. Look, the logs are diagonal. And remember this spot exactly, because it's home to a wild malfunction coming up in just a bit. Number 8. So I said it wasn't the end of malfunctions for this goose, and I wasn't lying because he's been caught in some other unfortunate situations over the years. Like here in this next submission from Ultimate Disney Cruise Line Fan 03. See, this is what happens when the coffee really kicks in. Look at his eyes though, he's really alert. Then at Ava underscore theater on Instagram sent in this. The view behind him looks really, really scenic. Wow, I don't blame him. 
I've said this before, but I don't know how these animatronic heads do a 180 degree turn and get into this position. No clue. And his friends up the way aren't doing any better. My dude, you okay? Well, he's just a bit down that he has to fly the coop to make way for Tiana and the band of critters to move in. And speaking of critters, some of the other Splash Mountain critters have found themselves in some not-so-flattering moments. It begins with Br'er Porcupine and a submission from John. You're heading for the chiropractor if you keep that up. I mean, he's definitely besties with that fishing goose. Then that Disney boy on Twitter caught a turtle in the laughing place who laughed so hard it knocked its shell off. What's wrong with him? This is from July of 2021, and there really isn't much to him, is there? It's just a hard outer shell. Number seven. We're on Splash Mountain. And the work lights just came on. TPM vids, I got you. Now this breakdown was sent in by a viewer named Nathan Frenner, and it gives you a really great look at this Br'er Rabbit animatronic. I've been watching this for five minutes. What's up, bro? The indoor show scenes at Disneyland were really dark, not to mention that the logs traveled extremely fast, much quicker than that leisure pace at Magic Kingdom. It was always really hard to notice the small details, but with the work lights on, you get a really great look at everything. I'm true, I'm standing on a Disney set, this is great. Now in this case, cast members did go through with an in-show exit. Here at Disneyland, this meant getting up close to the audio animatronic figures, which just happened to all be in full show mode. Oh, let's go! At Tanner underscore McKiff on Instagram also submitted a breakdown that happened roughly in the same spot. And this in-show exit footage offers a great glimpse of all the show scenes and animatronics. Everything is extremely detailed, but I wonder how much of the set will be reused for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I mean, I think it's safe to say that he'll be heading back to the farm. That was like the coolest thing ever. Number 6 Now who remembers the hopping Br'er Rabbit animatronic at Magic Kingdom? Well, he was known as the Million Dollar Bunny because it was rumored the figure cost a million dollars. Well, my laughing place is where I fell. But no matter how much more money Disney spent on the figure, it kept malfunctioning. Just before the parks closed in 2020 due to COVID, the animatronic was experiencing a lot of issues, like in this submission from Scott Kumka on Twitter. He basically became a bouncing, dead animatronic rabbit. Sometimes he would muster up a bit of courage, but then it would just lead to possessed Br'er Rabbit. Poor guy. I really love this figure when it actually worked, but as the years went on, the animatronic really deteriorated, losing a lot of its movement and fluidity. You can see how much more functionality the figure used to have from this footage in 1992. Who would have known his ears moved? Now there were times when he would float on by and he wouldn't appear, but if you looked behind, you'd find a lifeless Br'er Rabbit slouched behind the tree. This figure was triggered by a sensor, so sometimes if the logs were too close together, he wouldn't appear, or usually he was just broken. Around mid-2021, the animatronic just stopped working altogether, and until the ride closed in January of 2023, the Million Dollar Bunny was never seen hopping again. Number 5 TPM Vids. Yeah, that's me. We're gonna be on YouTube. Hey, Everyone hey. say hi. Hello. Hey. Why are we on YouTube? Well, because your son, Joe underscore heck on Instagram, sent in this breakdown from 2018. I love these breakdowns when the whole family gets into it. So even though the work lights had been turned on, the entire ride, including the animatronics, were all still in show mode. 
Usually everything gets shut off. Now it wasn't long before cast members began the in-show exit. Everyone's good to manage the stairs. Yep. We're all good with the stairs. Hello. <laughs> Since Splash Mountain at Magic Kingdom had lap bars, cast members needed to unlock each log with these yellow bars. Once all guests were safely out of the logs, well, then it was time for the fun part. Getting an in-show exit off Splash Mountain meant getting an up-close look at many of the show scenes and animatronics. Here, Joe and his family were brought through the laughing place where the gophers were still in show mode. This is the craziest thing ever. Getting to experience the Splash Mountain breakdown was something I always wished happened, but I never got to experience one in person. This is so cool. Now, after about a four minute walk backstage and back into the park, in true breakdown fashion, they were all given a fast pass for the trouble. Remember when paper fast passes were still a thing? And remember when it was actually still called fast pass? Ah, the good old days. Talk about a blast from the past. Number 4. With the amount of animatronics that were in the showboat finale scene, there was always at least one figure that was malfunctioning or missing. So many TPM Vids viewers sent in clips over the years, so here are some of the best ones from the finale at Disneyland. Starting with our good old friend Br'er Fox. I mean, he's a lot more loose than he was back in 2019. Then the can-can chickens, or maybe they're geese too. Uh, whatever they are, they're all going through it. This specific malfunction was from August of 2022, and quite a few viewers caught it on camera. I mean, the one in the turquoise was really carrying the weight in this performance, so once the other girls got their groove back, she was like, screw it, it's my turn now. Number three. In Magic Kingdom's showboat finale, there were even more submissions of the can-can chicken geese birds. So let's see how busted the one on the red can get. Okay, yeah, she's pretty busted. Clearly there's something a lot more interesting on the ceiling that's worth an neck spasm. Then she did get her groove back, but her head was a little twisted. She was then so hyper-focused that her feet were just exposed, and it made her feel a bit defeated. Well, oh, it's just not her day. And, oh, uh-oh, she lost her bow and possibly dislocated her torso? Oh, she's really going through it, but thankfully she was able to pull herself back together. Sort of. I know, I know, she'll eventually come back to life to join the party. Girl, time's ticking, you better hurry up. Tiana's party's starting soon. Then Br'er Turkey must have been under the impression there was going to be food at this party because in this submission, he just ended up eating himself. At Michael underscore DeRoche1 on Instagram also caught him just playing through the pain. He's definitely eating his feelings away, that's for sure. Now there were times where you could catch him sitting up not eating himself, but unfortunately near the end, his mouth really didn't move anymore. He used to be a pretty fluid animatronic, but as the years went on, maintenance was neglected and he got more and more stiff. With Tiana moving in, they were definitely getting him ready for Thanksgiving. Like here, he's stiff as a board. Long live Br'er Turkey. Happy Thanksgiving. Number 2 
The last animatronic malfunction takes us back to Disneyland where Br'er Rabbit seemed to have got himself in a little situation back in March of 2023. <laughs> possessed Br'er Rabbit just making a comeback for the final hurrah. Now this specific Br'er Rabbit animatronic has naturally bouncy ears. But with his neck movement being a little jittery, the ears really get that extra bit of bounce. Hmm, yeah, satisfaction isn't the word I'd use right now. I mean, he's a bit shaken up. He's been through a lot in the last nine and a half minutes. Talk about trauma. You know who else had been through a lot? Mr. Bluebird at Magic Kingdom. Yeah, remember when he had his dislocated beak? This happened in August of 2022, and quite a few of you caught the smell function on camera, like Ultimate Disney Cruise Line Fan 03 on YouTube, and my favorite clip from at Splattermaster on Instagram. <laughs> He just looks super busted. Oh my is right. Ooh. Number one. Now we've seen our fair share of ride breakdowns and in-show exits, but who can forget when one of the logs sank back in 2020 at Magic Kingdom? This happened just after the finale, and it took place on August 2nd, 2020. It was the first time a sinking Splash Mountain log was caught on camera and posted on the internet. Now, when this happened back in 2020, it was an extremely rare occurrence, but according to former cast members, it had happened in the past before everyone had a camera in their pocket. It's kind of ironic, though, that behind them there's a sign that said boat rentals, which would be very helpful in this situation but sinking logs became a lot more common. Fast forward to March 28th, 2022, when at Danglin90 on TikTok also escaped a sinking log. At least they turned off the waterfall for them. That was nice. According to the TikTok user, they were well taken care of, but wait, there's more. Things do come in threes. So on July 12th, 2022, another log sank just after the finale. This video was from Ted Klein on Facebook. So you might be wondering, how does something like this happen? Well, each of the logs has a small flap valve at the bottom by your feet. It's only supposed to open in one direction to drain the logs, but sometimes debris can wedge the valve open and it lets in water. That's most likely what happened in each of these situations, but thankfully all the guests made it out safe in every single incident. I gotta say though, a sinking log does add a whole new meaning to you may get wet. Let's cross our fingers and hope that no logs sink in the bayou in 2024. Now to truly end this Splash Mountain fail video, enjoy this submission from Kivon.g on Instagram. It's the finale at Magic Kingdom with no sound or animatronic animation.